Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another Wednesday Wisdom with Jim Hatchell. I'm excited to be back with you. It's been a very, very busy week. Uh, uh, just got back, uh, well, actually, a few days ago, we got back from the John Maxwell International uh, Conference down in Orlando, and my goodness, was it one of the best I've ever attended. This was my 11th event. I feel like if I keep going enough times, I'm going to get it right, and I'll come back and I'll be able to share some really, really, really positive and powerful information. Nonetheless, I'm excited that you're here today. This is really like 12, week 12, uh, lesson 10. I know that uh, we weren't here last Wednesday, and I did miss one Wednesday prior to that. But today I'm excited. I'm excited to share the final uh, process, final step in my 10 keys to my success. And as I said every week, you know, if I renamed them today, they would sound different, but the principles of what I've used over my journey. Uh, would be pretty close to the same. The great news is that I've been on a growth journey my entire life. And so when I wrote these in 1998, I was at one level of my journey. And today, I'm at a much higher level in that journey. And today, my journey is about being significant, about adding value to others. I've experienced a lot of successes over my years. And I'm excited that I've had that opportunity. But today, my journey is more about giving back and sharing with others and trying to help you find your best version on your journey. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's a work in progress. And, and if you're taking the time to invest in yourself every day, then you're moving in the right direction. I love what John Maxwell says, and you've heard me say this hundreds of times if you've watched or listened to anything I've ever done. It's not what you do in a day. It's what you do daily. It's those activities that we do every day on our journey that guide us to our success. More important than our success, but becoming our best version. And when we are on that journey to become our best versions. We're adding value to ourselves, but along the way, we're adding value to others. And my wife, uh, Dale, often says, you know, we want to be a, a river and not a reservoir. We want to share what we learn and what we know with others. And so today I am bringing this thing in for a landing, this, uh, this 10 keys to success as I reach the final step in my journey to success, the final step on this set of steps, because it's never a journey that ends. It's something we continue every day. I like to say, when my journey is over, you'll be standing around over my grave saying, he was a good man, and we appreciate that he was here. So let's move on. Let's talk about that 10th step because it's so, so important to me. It's one of the key steps in my entire journey. And I can tell you, it's one of the hardest ones. It is one of the hardest things to do. And before I, before I, before I share that one, I just want to go back. I'm going to go back and I'm going to go over all 10 of them with you real quickly. And so the first thing we talked about was a positive attitude. And we always have to have a positive attitude. You know, attitude drives everything. The second thing is we have to know our why. we got to know what our purpose is on this journey that we're on. Number three is know your dreams and goals. Uh, and if you don't have dreams and you don't have goals, then how do you know where you're going? Number four, take action. Number five, never stop learning. Number six be present and work hard. I used to say I got to outwork everybody around me. And, and and I tried, but that's not the best way. I learned later. You got to work smarter, not harder. Number seven is make sure that you are focusing your time and doing those things that are getting you the results that you need. Number eight, don't be afraid to get out of the 
box. Be innovative. Think differently. Do things that other people are afraid to do. That's kind of like getting out of your comfort zone. Number nine, we have to be able to deal and communicate with people effectively. We talked about that a couple weeks ago, and that's a very, very, very important uh, process that we have to learn. And today I want to share what I consider the most difficult, yet the most important thing that we can do on our journey to success. And in fact, it's not one thing. It's actually three things. And I rolled them all into one. And the first one is we have to be honest. We have to be honest with the people around us. But more importantly, we have to be honest with ourselves. We have to tell ourselves the truth. Because if we're lying to ourselves about where we're going and what we're doing and how we're supposed to get there, then it doesn't matter what we tell anybody else. It's about what we're saying inside. We have to be bigger on the inside than we are on the outside. And when we're telling ourselves the truth and we're doing the things that we tell ourselves we need to do, then we're growing in the right direction. The second part of that is that we have to be dependable. We got to show up every day. I just said that. You know, it's not what you do in a day, it's what you do every day. And you don't get a day off. You know, you might be able to take a day of vacation, or a day to be with the family, or, or a day to relax, but you're still in the process of growing and developing yourself. And you have to be dependable. You have to be there every day to make that success and to make sure that you're moving in the right direction. And perhaps the most important of all three is that we have to take responsibility. You know, in this world today, everybody wants to blame somebody else for their circumstances. But I can tell you, we are where we are today because of the actions that we've taken on the journey that we're on. Everything that we've done has has guided us to this point. This place that we're resting in is because of the steps that we have taken, not somebody else. And we can always blame somebody else, but you know what? It's about what we've done. It's a, or more importantly, it's about what we haven't done, perhaps. I can tell you, on this journey that I've been on, there are things that I wish I could go back and change, things that I could have done differently, things that I could have done that I didn't do. And it's all my responsibility. I actually have a, a plaque that we received at a uh, conference we went to, and on that, co- on that plaque it says, I am responsible. It's up to me. Nobody else. Now, I can ask other people for help, but that's my responsibility too. But if it's going to be, it's up to me. And I don't care what lane you're in as far as your journey in life. Whether you're in real estate, whether you're in insurance, whether you're an attorney, whether you're a doctor, a lawyer, a nurse, whoever you are, it is your responsibility to take your journey to the level of success that we all know you can reach. Now, I I can tell you, in my journey as a recruiter with the Air National Guard, I reached the pinnacle. I totally understand what Maslow meant by self-actualization. I reached the highest possible level I could go in that career field. I was the chief the top guy. I was in the spot at the top. I was the one who had the target on my back that other people were shooting at. But I had to take responsibility to do the things that I needed to do to get there. And fortunately on my way I had some great mentors who helped me and pointed me in the right direction. But it was still my responsibility. None of them could do it for me. I used to have this nemesis, and he, I mean, he, I don't know why he was the way he was, but he always said, well, you didn't do this, and you didn't do that, and your daddy did this, and your daddy did this, and all because of them, you got to be where you got to be. I'll tell you what, folks, 
my mentors, my father, my friends, none of them walked in my shoes. It was my responsibility. And for me to get to where I got, I had to do the work. And if you want to grow and become your best version, you've got to do the work. If you want to be a success in whatever area you desire to be that success in, you got to do the work. Let me repeat that. You got to do the work. You can't depend on somebody else to do it. It's up to you to take full responsibility for your future and for your growth and your success. And one day, people will look back at you and say, what a significant input that individual had on my life. Because now you've become a person of significance where you're adding value to others. But it starts by taking care of yourself and adding value for yourself to yourself and taking responsibility for your journey. It's not Jim Hatchell that's going to help you get there. It's going to be you that's doing the things that you know you need to do to get there. To be honest to be honest with yourself and those around you to be dependable that you're going to show up every day and to take full responsibility for your actions and your own success on this journey so like I said it's the hardest one of all the 10 keys to success that I mentioned but it's the most important one. And it sort of takes me back to my Air Force days when I, when I, when I think about the core values of the Air Force. Which if I had a number 11, this would be it. Is we have to, one, be integrous in all that we do. We have to be fully fully engaged in being that highly integrous person. Our country needs people of integrity to step up. And we need to do our best. Number two would be excellence in all that we do. We have to give it our very best every day. And finally, we would have to say this that we have to think about all of those around us and remember that it's about serving others. Integrity first, excellence in all we do, and service before self. Well, I'll tell you right now, if you can just apply the last two things that I've shared, the last number 10 key to success, if you can just be dependable, if you can be honest, and if you can be responsible, and you have high integrity, and you do everything you can to do your best, and you are serving others, my friends, you are on your way to being significant in your life's journey. I am so excited for you. I know that each one of you has so much potential, so much opportunity awaits each of you. And I know that if you just follow these steps, you can get there. You can get there. And I believe that about each of you. Whether you're on this call live or whether you're watching this recording, I have great, great, great belief in each of you because I know we have all have so much potential within us and all we have to do is allow it to unfold and blossom like the acorn that we see that falls to the ground and is covered by dirt eventually it starts to build and over time grows into a mighty oak tree 
and you are just like that acorn. You've got the potential in you to be the mighty oak. Hey, I thank you for being with me today. And if you're watching, if you're watching this uh, on the video, I thank you for for tuning in uh, on my YouTube channel and watching this. And, and and here's another here's another opportunity for you. If you're interested in being a part of a growth mindset group of people. You know, we've got a mastermind group that we're running for just seven weeks. We're week we're we're through with week one. We'll be doing week two on Monday. But if you're interested in that uh, in that mastermind group, if you want to be with a couple of folks that are are positive mindsets who are looking to grow themselves to become their best versions, I'm going to post a link in this feed uh, after I get off where you can go and you can join that mastermind. It's Monday morning. It starts at 8 o'clock. We go for about an hour, and you will be so filled up if you're a part of that. We look forward to having you. Uh, again, that's on Mondays at 8 o'clock. 8 a.m., I should say. It's a morning time. Thing. Uh, and it's hard for me to get up at 8 o'clock in the morning anymore. You know, after all these years in the Air Force of getting up at 5.30, 4.30, you know, 8 o'clock is now kind of like, oh, that's my norm. I want to be getting up around 8. But we're going to start at 8 o'clock. I'd love to have you there. Well, thank you again. Uh, thank you for being a part of this, this series of My 10 Keys to Success. I look forward to sharing more with you in the future. Uh, God bless. Take care and stay safe. This is Jim saying goodbye.